Um, so, uh, here's a New York Post article. The censoring of Joe Rogan is a tactic right out of the old Soviet Union. Uh, so again, let's, you know, let's, let's talk about some stupid shit, right? Let's, let's cleanse the palate. So, uh, now again, the censoring of Joe Rogan. So, we're in the headline here. The title and the premise, already in fantasy. There is no censoring of Joe Rogan. Joe Rogan has not been censored in any capacity, way, shape, or form, right? Uh, if any, if anything, Neil Young has been censored. But anyway, so there has been no censoring of Joe Rogan. So now, again, something that did not happen is a tactic right out of the old Soviet Union, a uh, you know, a country that no longer exists. So something that didn't happen is something that a country that doesn't exist would do. All right, let's go with that premise. So. Now, this is by Rebecca Koffler, whom I'm not familiar with, but is probably a goddamn moron. Make no mistake, the recent Joe Rogan versus Spotify scandal, it, Joe Rogan versus Spotify, that, now again, this person is so clueless as to this whole situation that they wrote it as Joe Rogan versus Spotify. Yo, Joe Rogan and Spotify are on the same team here. Spotify removed Neil Young's music. Um, and, you know, has been defending Joe Rogan, and the CEO has been releasing statements, and Joe Rogan has been... They are on the same team. It is not Joe Rogan versus Spotify, okay? They are, it's Joe Rogan and Spotify versus Common Sense. That's what this... Spot, like, so, again, not only is the headline completely dumb, but the first sentence, right, reminds you of something that, like, a two-year-old might write. It's not about COVID and what constitutes proper medical protocols to fight against it. It's about the future of free speech in America. Again, folks, there is no free speech in this country. There is no free speech in this country. Let's just look at the actual government. Let's look at the act. Now, again, private corporations engaging uh, in things. That's a whole different story. People boycotting. That's not against free speech, but let's actually look at free speech. The first amendment to the United States constitution, right? Um, that allows, you know, free speech. So there is a law in several states in the United States, including Texas and Florida that say that if you do not unequivocally support Israel, you have to literally sign a pledge of loyalty to the country of Israel in order to work in uh, the government. And that includes public school teaching every single time, right? Anyone becomes a teacher in any of these states, you have to literally sign a pledge of loyalty. And if you don't, you will be fired. So not only, not only, right, is the whole First Amendment thing just ridiculous and it does not exist in this country, right? But so I just wanted to use that in the actual case of the government itself censoring people uh, in this country. So I just wanted to start with the government itself, okay? Now, again, this is not a free speech issue. Joe Rogan has not been censored, okay? So the future of free speech in this country, I am a left-wing anarchist, okay? That is to say, I am an anarchist because those things are synonymous. Now, again, um, am I going on, do I have a $100 million deal from Spotify? No. Am I going on TV? No. Are people like, you know, boosting my stuff in the mainstream media? No. Therefore, my speech is being suppressed. I do not have the same level of free speech as this dumb fuck motherfucker who's able to write in a goddamn New York Post article. Just by the sheer nature that I am not, that I don't have a column in the New York Post, I am being censored by the New York Post. The New York Post not letting me write whatever I want on their magazine means I am being effectively canceled and censored by this institution. Uh, going by this own logic here. White House Press Secretary Jen Psaki statement on Tuesday directing Big Tech and Spotify to do more to eradicate alleged COVID misinformation on the Joe Rogan Experience podcast suggests that the future of the First Amendment is bleak. Now again, during the Donald Trump administration, right, Donald Trump, right, oversaw the uh, attacks on journalists throughout the 2020 uprising like journalists were blinded police were shooting the eyes out of journalists police were brutally arresting journalists breaking their bones police were gassing journalists arresting journalists throughout the year of 2020 okay now again that also happened in 2021 but again the, i just want to be very clear here the first amendment has been under attack forever there is no first amendment in this country okay it is a suggestion 
And if you actually want to be a uh, freedom, if you actually want to engage in freedom of the press, you might die. There are journalists that died throughout the uh, 2020 uprising. They were literally murdered by the government, right? By trying to engage in their First Amendment protections of freedom of the press. They were murdered by the U.S. government. There is no First Amendment in this country, okay? That doesn't exist. A representative, uh, re representative of the ruling party dictating to a private company which content is accurate. That's not happening. If the government actually put their foot down and said, Spotify, do exactly what we want, then that would be happening. Them saying, this is where we would land on the issue. Again, I'm not defending the Biden administration. Fuck the Biden administration, right? But they're not, you know, what? <laughs> like, that's not... The U.S. government has embraced the censorship, okay? The U.S. government has always embraced censorship. I mean, literally, look at what happened in the 1940s. There were Japanese internment camps. The U.S. government literally censored Japanese Americans, and in a lot of cases, just Asian Americans, because a lot of people that weren't even fully of Japanese descent or weren't even of Japanese descent got caught up in this, right? So, again, think about the gut. Like, now, all of a sudden, the United States is censoring people. In the 1940s, they literally brought about concentration camps. The exact thing that they wanted to convince Americans that was so bad about Adolf Hitler's regime that they had to go into war in World War II. They convinced Americans, oh, look at the atrocities of the concentration camps. American, like, America literally had the same thing. So, that's censorship. That's fucking censorship. How about the censorship of Native Americans and indigenous people? They've been censored. Their entire, like, entire cultures of indigenous people of this country have been wiped out. Cultural genocide. Okay? Now, not to mention the physical genocide, the actual mass murder of millions of people and eradicating their entire, like, you know, cultures and, 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 and populations. That's a whole different story. But also cultural genocide. Just on the free speech angle. There is an entire giant you know, multi-cultured civilization of people living on this land before white people came here. They got censored by the United States government, right? So the idea that Joe Rogan being criticized by a musician or two or three or four, maybe, and maybe the U.S. government is like, yeah, we don't, we don't like that. That's not censorship, okay? So again, the person who wrote this is a goddamn moron. Just like the Soviets, the benevolent authoritarians want to protect you from bad influence of the Rogan type rogues. Joe Rogan has the most popular podcast. It is more popular than cable news in the fucking goddamn country. Honestly, some would even say the most popular podcast in the world. How could he possibly be rogue? He's not rogue. What? The most popular podcast in the country is actually underground? Huh? What? I am underground. I am rogue. No one listens to what I have to say. I've never had a news piece in mainstream media, right? I've never been on mainstream media. I've never had New York Post articles read about me. I am rogue. I am underground. But hey, whatever. Consider that the Rogan interview deemed wrong-headed by American elites was not with some charlatan, but with a medical... Again, they're going to try to pretend that Dr. Robert Malone... Again, it's the 99% of scientists agree on something and the 1% just disagree because they want to get a good book deal and get rich. Robert Malone... Oh, he's an accredited... No, he's not. Go fuck yourself. Malone's thought crime, blah, blah, blah. I don't even care. I'm not even going to read that garbage. Okay. As someone who grew up behind the Iron Curtain in the former USSR, I am all too familiar with the dangers of censorship. A hallmark of communist totality. Again, this is published garbage. If someone like this can get articles published and I can't, that's censorship. I'm saying there's a reason why repressive states like Russia and its predecessor, the Soviet Union. Again, Russia is a hyper capitalist fucking imperialist fucking hellhole. And they're going to pretend like Russia is like the modern. Russia is still communist in this dumb fuck motherfuckers world. What? <laughs> like what? This is how the ruling class stays in power. Joe Rogan is the ruling class. Uh, 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 I guess I shouldn't say that. But he again is extremely rich. He is extremely rich. He got a hundred million dollars for his podcast. And he makes millions and millions and millions and millions a year. Now, am I going to say he's ruling class? Nah, I'm not going to say that. But again, he is far closer to the ruling class than the dumb fuck that wrote this article. 
and that literally anyone reading this article could ever dream of be being. Totalitarian states do not tolerate alternative viewpoints because they don't want their subjects to engage in critical thinking, which can lead to the end of their regimes. Now, this is just living in fantasy. Again, Joe Rogan is, I'm going to be honest with you, Joe Rogan is pretty much peddling what the Joe Biden administration wants, right? Freedom for everyone. Freedom to take the vaccine. That's what Joe Rogan's stance has been. Freedom. Don't get it if you don't want to. Now, in my opinion, we should have mandatory vaccines. I got my vaccine. I got three shots so far. I'm down to get a fourth, uh, you know, whenever. But again, um, that's what the Joe Biden regime has been advocating. Vac vaccine choice. The Joe Biden mandate is get the vaccine or don't. And that was shot down by the Supreme Court. That's what the Joe Biden administration has been peddling. Freedom of choice. What? So Joe Rogan and Joe Biden have very similar COVID policy. Let's be honest here, right? These people are really in, really, they are just serving capital. This Rebecca dumb fuck, dumb fuck, shit for brains, shit on my shoes, the dumbest motherfucker in fucking, in the history of the world, probably, uh, is literally peddling what the Joe Biden administration wants. Freedom of choice. Now, again, disinformation is horrible. That's why I criticize the Joe Biden administration. That's why I criticize Joe Rogan. And that's why I criticize people like this, because disinformation is horrible. Now, again, I'm not going to read the rest of this because it's just like, I mean, <laughs> I mean, like, I don't even like this is Rebecca Koffler is a Russian born former U.S. intelligence officer. Oh, my God. OK, Rebecca Koffler, not only Russian born but literally CIA, like, okay, like, I'm sorry, like, literally the CIA, this is a literal CIA article, folks, the CIA is defending Joe Rogan, that should tell you something, the fucking CIA is on the side of Joe Rogan, folks, <laughs> I need you to understand, these motherfuckers, not only are they some of the dumbest motherfuckers in the history of the world, but they are not being censored, the fact that I I am not being uh, published in the New York Post. That is censorship. The fact that I still don't have a feature-length film time slot in the Majority Report, that is censorship. The fact that Tucker Carlson hasn't invited me on his show, that is censorship. Joe Rogan getting $100 million more than like probably half of this country would ever hope to achieve ever in their collective lifetimes, right? Just for having a shitty podcast. He could not possibly be censored. He is immune to censorship. The only way for Joe Rogan to be censored is if he would literally go to prison. And that's not happening. So he is not going to be censored. He is not possibly going to be censored. Joe Rogan is not going against Spotify. Spotify is on the same team as him. The person who wrote this article, again, is being paid and has been bred to be a dumb fuck. Shit for brains, cocksucker, bitch, motherfucker. And again, dumber than dumb more useless than the most useless fucking like inanimate object you could like this goddamn like fucking like usb cable has more use to society than rebecca fucking coffler right now and, and i've never used it so um but i i could see i could theoretically use this like this is like i've never used it but i could theoretically use this usb adapter right rebecca coffler has no theoretical use she's just all about fucking she's just useless she's a useless fucking stupid bitch so, there you go.